Hi, yeah, this is a second lesson of the transformations pack. It's quite messy transformations, um, but at the end of the day, they're not that bad actually. You just got to practice them. And you do loads of them more in the second year, so it makes it easier as well. So we've got this. This is a starter. I'm going to leave it. Let's actually do this in class as a proper starter. So it's quite nice because I'll give you some hints on it as well. Right, so what have we got then? So I think it said at the bottom of the page down here. No, it didn't. Maybe the top of the page here. That's the bottom of my book, the bottom of my page anyway. So find the equation of a graph following a transformation. So you'll look at the original graph and then put the transformation and then substitute back in. Right, so there's my original graph. So for each of those, you have to write down the original graph. So f of x is x cubed minus 2x plus 4. So I might as well do that for all of them. Because it shows your starting point before you get to your end point. I'm bound to write one of these down wrong, aren't I? So... Then it says, so I've done that, write down the original graph. Then it says express the transformation in terms of f of x. So that's a translation of minus 5. So I'm taking off minus 5. So it's going to be f of x minus 5 because it's outside the bracket. It's on its own. B is a stretch scale factor 3 parallel to the y-axis. So that's an outside one, isn't it? So it's 3 lots of f of x. Then a sketch, a stretch scale factor 3 parallel to the x-axis. So that's going to be a third because it's the opposite to what you think it should be. And it's also going to be inside the bracket. So that would be f of a third x that I'm moving towards. A reflection in the x-axis is multiplying everything by minus 1. So that would be minus f of x. Uh, e is a reflection in the y-axis. So that's switching the sign on your x's. So that's f of minus x. And then what have we got? A translation to 0. So remember, that's going inside with the x, but it's the wrong way round. Anything inside of the X gets put down the wrong way around. Right then. So let's kind of go back now to my equation. When I do these, I think it's quite important to put little brackets around the X's. Because if I have to do any replacing, I'm replacing the X. And then that means that my power is okay. So if you can, where possible, go back and sneak some brackets around it. It's annoying, but it's worth thinking about afterwards, unfortunately. Right then. So all I'm doing is taking 5 off. So I've got my x cubed, minus 2x, plus 4, minus 5. So it gives me, my new graph is x cubed, minus 2x, minus 1. There. Right, so let's have a look at this one. Then. So this is 3 lots of. So it's 3 lots of my original graph x cubed minus 2x plus 4. So that would be 3x cubed minus 6x plus 12. Oof. So this one, I'm replacing x with a third x. So it's going to be a third x all cubed minus 2 lots of. So this is where putting the brackets around really, really helps you plus 4. So because I've replaced the x with a third x, the third x all cubed will be 1 over 27x. I'll try and fit it in here. Sorry. 1 over 27x cubed. Uh, then I've got minus 2 thirds x plus 4 there. 
I didn't have enough room, did I really? On D, uh, a reflection in the x-axis is minus everything, because I'm multiplying 3 by minus 1. So that would give me minus x cubed plus 2x minus 4. Uh, let's have a look at E. So that's a reflection in the x-axis. So I'm replacing x with minus x now. So I've got a minus x in the bracket. So I've got minus x all cubed is minus x cubed. So be careful with that. Minus minus is a plus. There we go. And then got this translation, you can read it. It's replacing x with x minus 2. So I've got x minus 2 all cubed x minus 2. I've been doing monitoring today, it's Monday, and I've just finished and I've wandered downstairs to record is R5. And uh, the heating's not been on all weekend, so this room hasn't been used since Thursday. It's like a freezer. It's killing me. Now then, with this one, I'm not going to bother expanding it, just because it's messy. But if everything's in the right place, I'm generally okay with that one. Right, some questions for you to have a go at. So have a go at home, or do them for a lesson. And if I reveal, then you can have a look, can't you? So it's up to you whether doing them now, or do them in lesson. Oops. There. So I'll look on the next page. If my, hand, my hands are that cold, I can't turn them over. Um, oh, less obvious transformations. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to do the less obvious ones on a fresh one. Bye bye.